What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here, collecting with Corey. We are back, finally, with the thrifting in Connecticut. So few and far in between, whatever that phrase is, thrift shops. Even in the summer, you figure that people dumping off, like, garage sale stuff that they weren't able to sell to thrift stores, but, I mean... Video games don't really qualify for that because we're scooping them up at the garage sales. I don't know. Anyways, we stopped at a Goodwill that I rarely ever go to because it's kind of out of the way. But we were in the area when we were coming back from the Beardsley Zoo, which you would have seen in a vlog a while ago by the time you're seeing this video. Decided to pick up a few games, and as I was waiting in line, I looked in the case, and they had a Nintendo GameCube. And a few controllers. So, first up, the two games I decided to pick up because I apparently got rid of the one I had. I don't remember if I had Destroy All Humans or Destroy All Humans 2. But now I have both. And they're in pretty good shape. They wanted $3 each on those, so that's not a bad deal. And they had a Indigo GameCube with official memory card. Um, actual condition on this, not relevant, because my plan is to trade this in to GameStop. And I'm going to do that with the other, well, one of the controllers that was with it. It was really kind of beat up. Actually, I'm hoping that they'll take it, because the joystick on this is kind of fucked. But, I mean, they say they don't test them. Hopefully, they don't care about the condition of the controller either. As long as it's there, you know. It also came with the hookups. So you got the AV and the power brick. But the main reason I was interested in even picking up this GameCube is the other controller they had there. And no, it wasn't a WaveBird. I know I've been picking up a lot of WaveBirds, but it was actually a Spice Orange GameCube controller. Original Nintendo brand and in good shape. I cleaned it up a little bit already. Luckily, this was the one that was in better condition. And these go for around $30 on eBay. So I can't complain about that. I basically paid $32 for everything. The GameCube bundle was $24, $6 plus whatever tax. It's about $32. So you figure if I can get probably $25 for this and $15 credit for the GameCube, I definitely basically keep Destroy All Humans and Destroy All Humans 2 for free, plus I have a little credit to play with at GameStop. So let me know how your thrifting is going in your area. Let me know if you think garage sale season helps or hurts the thrift stores. In my opinion, I hit a lot less thrift stores in the summer just because if I'm in the area for a garage sale or garage sailing, I usually don't take the time to stop at the thrift store and I end up skipping a lot that I would normally hit anytime I'm in that area. So like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real internet. I love you guys. Hey guys, I thought that was it, but went to another thrift store, a week later, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green Strategy Guide. I actually already have this one, Alicia got it for me a while ago, but this one's in a lot better condition. This one's like practically brand new, which is pretty cool for a strategy guy. And also some handhelds. Well, they're not Tiger Electronic, so I wouldn't call them that. One of them is probably going directly in the trash because I don't know what the fuck it is. It's a little kid's toy, but they're bundled together. We have, it doesn't actually have a name. It's just a kid's calculator. And we have a Radica Tetris, which is cool because I actually have a Radica Tetris, the larger one, coming in the mail at some point. You might have already actually seen it by the time this video gets posted. I don't know when I'm posting this, but it's only two bucks for these. Um, that's going to be it for this thrifting in Connecticut. I'm just tacking this on to the last thrifting part I had that I've already filmed. So like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real, internet. Love you guys.